All right, so now we're gonna talk about outputs. Now, outputs are kinda cool, just like inputs, they can be wired exactly the same. Now, remember when I first started talking about addressing? Remember that I inputs start with an I, while outputs start with an O, okay? Now, outputs are gonna be anything that sends a signal out or sends voltage out. So it's gonna be things like lights, relays, maybe some buzzers, things like that, some pretty low voltage type things. We're gonna be sending it out, okay? Most of the time it's gonna be coils. It almost never will be anything that's high, you know, high amperage. Usually things like coils on like a, like a hydraulic valve, those things are too high. They don't seem to be loved by PLCs. Not saying you can't do it, you will, you're gonna kinda get into that a little bit later on in your career and things like that, okay? But for this discussion, we're just gonna talk about outputs, a little bit of how they address, a lot about how, um, how you're gonna wire them right now. So, because the activity will be to wire them. So, the first thing that I wanna point out is going to be the top terminal. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna apply voltage here, it's gonna go through a contact, and it's gonna come out one of these uh, output terminals. Now something very important to know before I start drawing this is there's three different types of outputs you can have on a PLC. The style that we are using is called a relay output, okay? Means pretty much whatever voltage you put in here is gonna go through a contact inside of our PLC. The re it's like a relay contact and it's gonna come out, all right? You can also have sinking and sourcing outputs, but they're a little bit less popular um, definitely on those the sourcing ones, okay? And I'll try to, maybe I'll have a, a little bit of a video on syncing and sourcing and why that's not quite so important or why it's maybe not so beloved, okay? But for our discussion, we're gonna come in and we're gonna put a positive value into our VCA, or our VAC slash VDC, okay? And we're gonna, we're using DC positive. You can put AC on this, you can put any range of voltage that you want to be used. If you're gonna be using like a light that needs, needs nine volts, you're gonna be wanting to put nine volts into this terminal. We're gonna put 24 volts DC because all of our stuff is designed to be used 24 volt DC, okay? If we were to change that up and wanted them to all be AC, we would just, you know, we'd run AC in these. Because it is a, um, a relay contact, it doesn't care. When you get into syncing and sourcing, it cares, okay? So, let's go ahead and continue on. So like I said, you're gonna send power here. There's going to be a contact that's internal between these two, um, these two switch, or two terminals here. So this, this doesn't really exist, I'm just drawing it in there. Because when this uh, um, instruction here, which will be labeled an O colon, zero slash zero probably, or something like that. It's gonna start with an O. When it receives a signal, when this is true, it's going to turn on this contact here, letting the voltage go around and come out, okay? Now, on this wiring, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out, we're gonna to go to whatever our load is, and I'm just gonna draw a light for now, and it's gonna go from there up to a DC negative source, okay? Meaning we're, we are supplying voltage to the light, and then when we turn it off, we're supplying nothing, but it does have its DC over here, okay? In the uh, schematic that I'll be showing you in a minute, you will see a resistor drawn in there. Um, it doesn't matter, it's just trying to show you a load, all right? So that's pretty much the basics of how you're gonna wire these guys together. The only different, I mean, and then again, one thing you're gonna see is there's going to be a bracket over each one of these. Now, it's saying this VAC slash DC is only good for this terminal. If this bracket extends onto another one, then it becomes, now these two are supplied voltage here. It's made that way so we can have multiple voltages being used on one PLC. So you can actually get pretty, uh, pretty trick with some of that stuff, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you those terminals on that PLC and then I'm gonna show you the schematic and then I'm actually gonna show you it wired, okay? Remember we already talked about these first three right here. These first three are 120 volt and they're ground in. Um, so you should have already hooked this thing up. You've already should have played with this a little bit. So you should know all about these. I'm not gonna talk about them. The next thing is not used. So this, uh, this terminal is not used. I believe it is to separate um, whatever control voltage you have here and whatever, I'm sorry, whatever power voltage you have here and then whatever control voltage you're gonna be using over here. 
Now, the next one is going to be that VAC and that VDC, okay? So it could be, you know, AC, it could be DC, it could be 24 volts, it could be 12 volts, it could be 120 volts. It does not care, it does not matter, okay? But it does care depending on what you hook up to our output side of things, okay? So this one's gonna be the power source coming in and then it's gonna send it out on the output right here. And you can see that we have the same thing right here, 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 okay? And then again, there's an, another not used down here. So these are again, these are all um, discrete. So they're going to be on or off. They're not going to be analog. They're just going to be digital on or offs. Um, we're going to send voltage in here and it's going to come out on our O colon zero slash zero. And then they just are numbered all the way down. So I believe we have six outputs that we're going to be using and you will use all six outputs in this class. So let's take a look at our uh, schematic really quick. And then I'm going to show you this thing all wired up. This is our schematic for all of our outputs, and you can see that I know this because this is the part number for my PLC, so I know it's true, right? Um, again, these first three terminals right here are just gonna be your 120 volt in, and then each set of two roughly, sorry, let me see, each set of two roughly is going to be a voltage in for the, con the actual powering voltage, and you can see that it has a DC positive right here and then you can see this would be something of the load you can see they used a, uh, a control relay over here it, anything can be the load it doesn't really matter but you can see that they've they've put the load in here so the power is going to come in from the DC it's going to you know connect inside through that that relay contact in here it's going to come out of this terminal through the load and then to a DC source okay so pretty easy. Again, these ones, uh, I guess they don't actually have a big old rail drawn here, but you can, it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, there's gonna be six outputs. We know that because it starts at zero, it ends at five. There's a couple that are not used. So be careful that you don't accidentally hook up a wire in there. I don't think it'll hurt anything, but it will just create a big problem with troubleshooting. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna show you this all wired up. All right, so now here it is all wired up. It's kind of, kind of difficult to see, but at the beginning, one thing is I'm, I'm doing all white wires for my outputs. As you can see, the white wires running in here and then up to here, these two wires right here, all white, okay? Again, we're doing blue for inputs, white for outputs, okay? So we come over here to our blue terminal. So this is gonna be our positive voltage. I'm doing one wire that comes down, comes up and goes into our VD, V, or V, V, A, C, VDC, okay? So that's our that's our positive voltage coming in. It's on our first wire coming in here. The next wire comes out, goes down to our light, comes out of the light, back to a ground. And you can see I've taken it back to the white terminal block for that. All right? So there's not a heck of a lot we can do until we put a program in here. So what my expectations are for your submission of this one is I'd like a picture without the covers over these wires. So I wanna see, I kinda of wanna see this area right here so that I can see it going in to the, the, the box here and coming out to the terminal blocks. Again, you don't have to set up your stuff exactly like me. Like I said, I wanted to put my outputs on the bottom. That way they're easier to get while I have my inputs on top. All right, so go ahead and uh, submit that picture with your covers off um, and you should be good. 